Hey everybody, it's Amy Figoli here and today we are back with part 10 of my one pound closed loop system demo from Best Value Vex. Uh, they sent me another new piece of equipment so I decided to do an unboxing video uh, for this particular one. You'll see as I open the box it's a uh, 6 inch hemispherical lid with three one and a half inch tri-clamp ports, two for sight glasses and one in the center for the materials column and two one half inch and two one quarter inch female NTP ports. Uh, so those are for like valves and lines and things like that. <clears throat> um, this upgrade replaces the standard flat collection base lid to add uh, extra headspace and allow for it to, uh, for you to be able to see into the collection base itself. So that'll be nice. We'll definitely get some quality footage shots, shots <laughs> from that. Um, I'm pretty excited to share that with you guys. Um, probably just put like a you know flashlight in one end and the uh, I guess what would it be the uh, camera on the other. Which I don't have my tripod here today. That's why we're actually filming with my uh, webcam. <clears throat> so I already see it kind of doing some weird focusing stuff. Hopefully this works out for you guys. If not, I'll just have to uh, I guess I don't know refilm it. <laughs> so this is a true unboxing here. I as you can see I haven't opened the box yet. Um, I got this pretty cool packaging tape actually with their logo on it and stuff. So definitely know that um, you know what you're getting is what you ordered um, when it comes. And uh, I think you can actually request it not to uh, be packaged that way on their website. So if you don't want their logo and everything on it for obvious you know potential reasons. So here we are. Um, this is pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about this already. Looks like we've got the two sight glasses already installed. I'll go ahead and remove these tri-clamps. Uh, maybe not, maybe, I've, <laughs> maybe I'll just leave them on um, just because they are the sight glasses. There's really no reason to take them off, but I'll give you a kind of a view through them if I can with the webcam here. <clears throat> yeah, so there's one sight glass there, another one here. Looks like there maybe is a cover on there. I'll probably have to take off eventually anyway. Um, these are two of the, uh, the two half inch ports. So they've got those. Um, just filled currently, you know, I, you could remove those and put other things on for other upgrades. You've got your port here, uh, which is your recovery valve. And then of course your gauge right here, which goes from negative 30 HG all the way up to 150 PSI. And again, your, your system will never really get over um, probably 30 to 40 PSI when you're blasting. And if you do, you're probably, you know, flooding it with too much or Maybe let it get, get too warm after it's been cold or something of that nature. But uh, yeah, you're, you're generally going to be around 30 PSI, right? That kind of that first mark there, if you can see it. And uh, yeah, so this is the, I think it's called a dipstick, I believe is what that is called. So you'll put your materials column and like the, the ball valve and sight glass and all that will stack right here. And then it'll come through and actually just go straight down. That way you don't have to worry about like getting the sight glass all gunky or whatever. So that should be kind of cool to be able to see that. I don't know if you can Let's see if we get a good view here. Yeah, it's gonna kind of focus, but yeah, so you can see my hand at the bottom there. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Simple uh, on and off valve here. I forget what those are called. NAI lock, I guess. But uh, yeah, this is the six inch version of the Hemi lid. I'll put it again next to the standard base lid that you'd normally get. Um, so you can see the difference. Uh, it's, you know, obviously both still six inches, but in terms of height, it adds quite a bit. And you get another couple inches out of that. And then of course, all the different functionality when it comes to the sight glasses and then being able to kind of adapt and upgrade your system. Uh, now I believe they do have, what, eight or maybe is it 10 and 12 or there's several different sizes of the Hemi lids. This is the smallest one. Um, this fits basically my uh, six inch collection base with the one pound system. If I were to go any bigger than one pound system, um, I probably would consider upgrading several things, but um, probably, you know, starting with a larger collection base would be a good idea. Making sure you're not overfilling your system or anything like that. Um, getting, you know, everything you can out of it. So this will essentially go to the wayside here. Uh, we won't be using this probably at all anymore. Um, I don't see any reason for that, quite frankly. So this is what we'll be using from here on out. Thanks again to Best Value Vax for sending this out. I'm excited to share this with you guys. Um, I will probably be either doing a, another Grapefruit Durban live resin nug run 
or maybe a Durban Poison uh, trim run. I think those are the, kind of the two that are going to be up in the hopper next. So those will both be fantastic. We know that the Grapefruit Durban live resin run was uh, probably one of the best runs I've ever done. You can see that in the last couple of videos, especially purging the back oven from Best Value Vax. And then I've also, uh, you know, that Durban Poison, um, the smell of the bud or the flower is probably the most intense like, gotta keep coming back to its smell. Can't get my nose out of the jar smell. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see what kind of terpene profile um, and uh, you know medicinal value we can get out of that in some VHO. I haven't done anything like straight Durban poison before. So that'll be good. Hopefully I'll be able to share those with you guys. Definitely follow me on Instagram at Fergroli. Um, I'll be posting pictures, of course, of, of this and the, the runs that I'm doing. So follow along there for more information and pictures. Check out my website for Groly.com. Um, there's all sorts of media and other things on there. I think I need to update my feed charts again, but uh, we'll be getting to that uh, as you'll probably see from my other videos. Around the upload date of this one, I'm currently using uh, Heavy 16 at the Fergroli farm and we are using house and garden nutrients in the FMG canopy. So um, both resulting in pretty positive things so far, although we're not yet through flower. Um, Again, thank you to Best Value Vax. Thank you to my subscribers. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Comment below. And uh, until next time, guys, good luck and grow big.